like me, then you'll shoot the majority of your content in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, perfect for YouTube's format. Now, if you want to reuse any of that footage so you can create content for TikTok, well, you're gonna run into some problems. Due to the vast sizing difference, it's highly likely that you're gonna cut out somebody's head or you're left with an extremely up-close, unflattering shot of your face. So to solve this issue, I'm gonna show you how to resize any of your videos to fit TikTok. So to get started, just click the first link in the description. Now in Veed, we're gonna click upload our file, choose the video that we want to resize and just give that a second to upload. Now in the left hand panel, you'll see size. We're gonna click that arrow down and here you've got all these different aspect ratios to fit every social media. But of course, we're gonna choose the one for TikTok. Now, if you want your video to fill the frame, just click on it and click fill the canvas. If you do have a super wide shot, this is probably all you'll need to do. So you can just go ahead, skip forward to the next chapter. However, if your shot is a close up like mine, head to the settings tab and beside it, you'll see adjust. Click that and scroll down and increase the blur and the vignette to around 50%. Now above your timeline, click add media and upload the same video again. But this time we're gonna drag it above the blurred video in the timeline, head back to settings. And this time we're gonna click fit to canvas. Before we style our TikTok, we're gonna need to trim it. So just go ahead and press play. Then at the point that you wanna make a cut, press pause, then click split. Click on the excess that you wanna get rid of, right click on it and then hit delete. Now remember everything you do to the top layer, you also need to do to the bottom one. And lastly, turn off the audio on the bottom layer so there's no echo. Now we can style our TikTok. So we're gonna add a shape bar here and we're gonna layer that with some captions. Because captions on TikTok have been proven to increase impressions by 55%, it's a no brainer, always add captions. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna head to the left hand column, we're gonna go to elements and under shapes, we're gonna choose square. We're gonna drag that to the bottom of the screen and pull it over to make a rectangle. Now we can change the color of that and we can also increase the size of the outline. Now we're gonna head to the top timeline and drag that shape over across the entire video. Next, to add captions. So we're gonna head to the left-hand column, click subtitles, choose auto subtitle, choose your language, and click create subtitles. Now we're gonna give that a minute here to generate our captions, and once that's done, we're just gonna watch it through just to make sure it hasn't misinterpreted, misheard any of the words that we've said. And if that has happened, very simple fix. Just click on the word that's wrong, delete it, and type out the correct word. You can also change the duration of your subtitles here by dragging them in and out on the timeline or you can use the stopwatches as you see here. If you would like to change the font, the size or the color of your captions, go ahead and click on the styles tab and here you can have a play around with all the different choices that you see. Find the one that works best for you and once you're happy with it, we can render and export our video. So to export, just go ahead and click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings and then click export once more. Now it's gonna take a moment or two here just to render our video. And once that's done, we're gonna watch it through just once, just to make sure we're happy. And once we're happy with it, we can click download and download MP4. And there you go. That's how you resize any video to fit TikTok. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content, and leave me any comments or questions down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.